how to manifest your ideal reality today on Awakening with Amy. Hi, welcome. I'm Amy Valentine. I'm a certified life coach hoping to awaken within you a mindset that you can be, do, and have any desire. Today, we're going to talk about how to create, how to allow our ideal reality to unfold, no matter what is going on, either inside your mind, that mind chatter, or out there. Okay, so today is really... um inspired by Florence Scoville Shen. I had a completely different video planned for today, but I was reading her book this morning and it kind of gave birth to this idea. So I'm just rolling with it, right? Following those urges. I have no idea. I just, I put some stuff together, put some notes down, wrote down some quotes so I can, you know, kind of explain to, to you all that your ideal is here and now. It's it's, but we have to train our mind, right? Train sounds so hard, but what I mean is we have to understand the difference between the higher mind and the lower mind. And I actually um, had a client ask me that question the other day. She said, well, you know, when you talk about the higher mind and the lower mind, what do you, what do you mean? And I said, well, what I mean, my understanding comes mostly from Bashar. And he talks about how that the higher mind is has the whole view has the whole picture knows how everything fits together knows if you follow your excitement whether it's a low level excitement high level excitement or anything in between he, the synchronicities weave together in such a way that give you what you desire it's only your judgment of what is happening positive or negative that, you know, basically prevents you from seeing that, that, that whole view. And he says the lower mind is not designed to know how something is going to happen when something is going to happen. The lower mind is only designed to experience it. So that's the difference between the higher and the lower mind. It doesn't mean higher, lower, worse, better, better, worse, good, bad. No, that is judgments that we put on things. They have, it has two different functions for a reason. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here in a physical body. If we didn't have a physical mind to experience this dream, this illusion of physical life, then we would just stay in non-physical, right? We would just, just be in that pure positive love. So the higher mind is the divine, is the connection to the divine. Like Florence says, the divine design. That's what she speaks of, that how we're always connected with that. And the lower mind would be the physical mind, the ego, that we learn fear. And, you know, like A Course in Miracles says, there's only ever two choices in any moment, love or fear. That is the sponsoring thought behind every decision, every choice is either... um. It's either love or it's either fear. And all fear is, it's made up. It's that love energy inverted, meaning put through a filter of limitation. And Florence says, the divine des in the divine design, there are no limitations. There's no lack. There's no fear. And when we start to hear that, that's how we awaken to our ideal moment to moment every single day. Each day, we must live according to the divine plan or have unhappy reactions. Florence Givelshen. In other words, stop splitting our energy. Stop believing in two powers. Stop believing the voice of fear, doubt, and worry. Stop believing in the past stuff that you didn't like because you didn't know any better, right? You cannot judge the past 
because you really have no recollection with any clarity on what you were, what you knew, what you, how you're perceiving things. So that's why it's just, it's really a good idea to give up the habit of believing that the past creates the now moment or to feel guilty. No, because we're new in every moment. Like Abraham Hicks says, you can hit the reset button moment to moment to moment, but it, you have to choose it, right? God meets you where you are. He, God can't give you, infinite intelligence can't give you what you don't allow yourself to receive. That's why in giving it to yourself, that is receiving it, right? So we have we can't serve two masters. We have to stop splitting our energy, meaning just let the fear chatter away, do nothing with it. We have to get out of the habit of thinking we have to resolve the doubt or figure out the fear or heal it because true healing really means a return to love. And it's not even a return. It's just remembering, I forgot, I came here I had amnesia. I forgot who I was and I, I didn't know. And I took on all these fears of, of the world around me. And when you let it go, when you just drop it and do nothing with it, then it's kind of like an indifference. It's like a positive indifference. Like Neville Goddard says, indifference is the knife that severs and feeling is the tie that binds. And by feeling, he means belief, right? You only feel, you only have a reaction to what you really believe to be true, right? And all those beliefs are just optional, right? So you want to drop the old stories that no longer serve you. That's how you hear your ideal. You don't have to know exactly what it is. All you have to know is that every desire is a divine urge to create, to be a creator, to be who you really are which is to be here as God. God wants you to manifest your ideal so it can know itself through you, through a physical experience. Otherwise, how would God know itself? God's just pure energy love. It's, it's, it's not even really a thing, right? We're all connected, made in its image and likeness. That's why it's within us. That's why we can have whatever we want. But when we filter what happens in this physical world through the lower mind, then that's when we believe in loss. That's when we believe in lack. And we're literally sitting on a gold mine all the time. And it's, it's a choice away. And it, until it becomes a habit, right? I mean, we keep choosing it until it, we feel the naturalness of it, that we, gosh, we if we're here to create, then, then I don't need to create from fear, right? So it's all about the who, and the who is you from Loki, right? It's who you're being. That's what is manifesting everything. And by manifesting, it's just meant experiencing. So really, you're playing all the parts. You don't have to judge when you have a sad moment or a sad feeling. You don't have to judge yourself for that. You can just let yourself feel it and then let it go. Even happy stuff, you, you know, people think that this person makes me happy or this uh, amount of money makes me happy or this material object or house or job or dog, right? <laughs> like I'm missing my dog. I am, I really am every single day, I miss my dog. But you know what I do? I keep reminding myself, I can't miss anything unless I feel I've lost it and I haven't lost her. I don't want to start crying. <laughs> She's here with me. So I digress. The di di divine mind, the higher ideal, how to hear that call is via your intuition. And intuition is to be taught from within, not to judge yourself or your life by out there, by what's happened or what's not happening. No, judge yourself righteously. That's what Jesus meant. Judge not by the appearance is the physical world. Judge with your, within your intuition, right? And it's unconditional love, meaning love just loves. It doesn't condition it. It doesn't say, well, if my dog lives and I can stay happy, if I get the guy, then I can be happy. Or 
if I have this amount of money, then I'll be happy. No, it's unconditional. And connecting to that divine energy, the divine mind, how we do that, we substitute faith for fear. We stop splitting our energy, meaning we stop believing in the fear and understand fear is just an, an inversion of love, an inversion of faith. We're having faith in what we don't want instead of having faith in love. And love says, you can be doing have whatever you want. Love says, ask and it is given. But if you block it with your doubt and your fear, now you're splitting your energy. Now you're believing in two powers, right? And the divine design is, is all about understanding there's only one love, one power. And anything other than that love is a misunderstanding. It's an inversion of that love. And it's put through a human filter of fear, right? So act on those urges unconditionally this is how you hear the higher mind this is how you hear the call you, you you don't do it anything conditionally well i'll i'll say yes if x y and z happens this exact way you have to understand you have to start thinking like god as god and god only ever sees love only sees you as whole and perfect it doesn't see you that energy never sees you doing anything wrong so act on those urges listen to cultivate that inner eye that inner voice that intuition right and that is how you hear the higher call that's how you live your ideal and florence has a ton of affirmations let me just say a couple just to end the video and this, remember, affirmations aren't to make anything happen. It's, she says, to dig the ditch, meaning to prepare a place, like, like scripture says. You're preparing a place by having faith in your desire before you see any physical evidence of it. Even when your lower mind is trying to say, it's not here yet. What are you talking about? How, how are you, how, how are you? wealthy if you don't have all the money how are you loved if you don't have the really no don't listen to that voice you don't we're not here to create the things to be happy we're here to wake up that we are creator and god gave us free will to choose and we get to choose the divine design meaning the highest ideal through love filter everything judge everything as for your highest good or through fear. And it's it's really up to us to choose every day to whom we will serve. And there's no judgment in that. We can choose fear sometimes. We can choose to get upset, whatever. It doesn't matter. So let's read some affirmations. And affirmations are to magnify the Lord, meaning the law of being that you already are that which you want to be. Like Neville says, it's only your refusal to believe it that keeps it from you. So use some of these affirmations or tweak them in order for you to remember that the kingdom is the gift of God is only saying yes to whatever you desire. You can have it, you can be, you can do it. So I am harmonious, poised and magnetic. I now draw to myself my own. My power is God's power and it is irresistible. Behold, the tide of destiny has turned and everything comes my way. I banish the past and now live in the wonderful now where, ha where happy surprises come to me each day. There are no lost opportunities in divine mind. As one door shut, another door is opened. Use these affirmations to create your ideal. Let it all just be. Be still and know that you are God. And you can be doing have any desire. Thank you so much for being here and hanging in there with me. Thank you for commenting. I love all your comments. Thank you for liking and sharing the video and for subscribing to the channel. And until next time, have a wonderful day.